What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's time for the week of rotation once again, and I was hanging out. I haven't taken my shower yet this evening on the Saturday, so we're going to kind of guesstimate what I plan on wearing after the shower, but for the most part, it's been an interesting week. There's been some newer additions to the collection that I was just eager to wear that I went ahead and slid into the rotation almost instantly. But there's some really good stuff in this rotation, kind of maybe some stuff you weren't expecting, maybe some you were, and something that was super hyped. So we're going to talk about it. It's week number 201, 201 in the week of rotation. My How Time Flies. Stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday is a brand new release from Carna Barcelona. This is called Revolution. So Revolution is a metallic herbal green leather fragrance. Yeah, it's one of those oddball fragrances that just smells incredible. Two of my favorite releases, niche releases of this year, are metallic oddball fragrances. This and Faces of Francis from Wilhelm Parfumery. This is so good. It's herbal green earthy, very sharp cold steel metallic, and then dries into a soft, luxurious smelling leather. That's really the easiest way that I can describe it. Performance is great. Quality is fantastic because it's Carner Barcelona. I mean... What do you expect from Carner Barcelona? Anybody familiar with the house, you know they make some fantastic perfumes. Beautiful fragrance. It does lean on the masculine side, but anybody that wants kind of a different olfactive experience, kind of step outside the box, out the norm kind of thing, I would advise checking this out. This is a slept... I think this is going to be one of those slept-on releases of the year that's not going to get enough love, though it deserves it. Absolutely worth checking out and trying. During the day, the new Revolution from Carner Barcelona. And then we got the shower, went from something brand new and luxurious to something super cheap. One of my all time favorites out the shower, Nautica Classic. Just a nostalgic pick, nothing special here, guys. I say it every time I talk about it. Uh, most people aren't gonna care for this one. It's a you know flashback kind of fragrance for me. It just reminds me of being young. You know, uh, I've had so many bottles of this over the years, the old bottles, the newer bottles. I still have, I bought a vintage bottle a couple of years ago just to smell, you know, what it used to be because it's a shell of its former self. This is one of those reformulated heavily over the years type of fragrances. Uh, but it's just a generic saltwater aquatic, fresh out the shower clean type of stuff. Maybe two hours if you're lucky. Super weak performer, super cheap. But if you're from my era, it'll probably be nostalgic for you as well. Out the shower, Nautica Classic. Moving into Monday, so still working on a full review for this one. I want to spend a little bit more time with it, but this is a clone from Paris Corner of one of my favorite Mancera's, Tonka Cola. This is called Cherry Cola in one of their many Amir ranges. Uh, this one very much a cinnamon cherry coke type of smell. A little powdery. Doesn't last quite as long as Tonka Cola, but it comes close. The quality is not as good. The performance isn't as robust. But for the money, it's not too shabby because even from discounters, you're looking around 100 bucks for Tonka Cola, whereas you can get this for around 30 some odd dollars. It's, uh, it's quite the, you know, less than half the price, drastically less than half the price. And it's pretty much what and what with the scent profile. Like, I don't really pick up too much different nuance here. Uh, they're both pretty spicy, give kind of that carbonated feeling for the cherry Coke, that powdery Tonka bean smell. Smells incredible. Like I said, they did a really good job. Every single one I've tried in this line, this is basically their Mancera clone line, the ones that are in this bottle. The only one I haven't tried that I'd like to get my nose on is Wild and Tobacco, the Red Tobacco clone, because Super Crush, Instant Crush, is great. Sidrat Essence, Sidrat Boise, is great. This seems to be great. So they seem to be, uh, you know, kind of hitting home runs right over the fence with these. They've been doing really well. I've been enjoying it. Full review coming soon for those of you that care. But during the day, Cherry Cola from Paris Corner. I got the shower, had a good shave, and decided to go with Nivea Deep Comfort for my aftershave splash. And I kind of didn't really go with something that blends too well with it because it's like a heavy bourbon vanilla smell. So it's basically a vanilla base is how you can look at it. I went with Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas. So I actually was filming a fresh out the shower fragrance video. I had just shaved and hadn't sprayed anything yet. And when we were talking about 
the fragrances, the eight fresh out, you know, my favorites for fresh out the shower, I would just went ahead and sprayed this on. It has a little bit of a cappuccino note, melon aquatic, citric type of fragrance, just a phenomenal cheap fragrance. If you haven't smelled Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction, you're missing out because a lot of places you can get a 200 ml for 20, 25 bucks, if not 100 ml for around 15, 20 bucks. And uh, this is the 100 ml, plenty. Doesn't last real long, like three, maybe four hour fragrance. You can always spray it heavy, respray it. It's cheap, it smells great. It's one of the better cheapies out there. And it's phenomenal for what I wore it for. Out the shower, had a good shave. Went with Nivea for Men Deep Comfort Aftershave Splash and Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction. Moving into Tuesday. Now this fragrance is a brand new release from Argos. One of their five new releases. I have three of the five. And this is breathtaking. I did a shorts video here on YouTube that was an unboxing first impressions on Fall of Phaeton. Fall of Phaeton is breathtaking. It's super, super creamy, smoky and spicy, perfectly unisex. Christian's doing laser etching on the bottles now and did the Argos logo, his signature, and then put my full name on the base of the glass. So that's all laser etched into the glass for the customization. It's a nice touch. I had no idea he was going to do that. Um, Lovely fragrance. Like I said, smoky, creamy, and spicy. It's, it's breathtaking. So there is nothing even close to average or mediocre with the releases. Like he's just continuing to elevate the brand with his perfume releases. Argos continues to kill the game. When he told me that this fall, this autumn, was going to be the season of Argos, he was not lying uh, three for three, because Love Triumphs Over War is a gorgeous, earthy, dark, spicy, clove-heavy, powdery rose, just super masculine and very regal. And then you have Birth of Venus, which is a delightful, very unisex, citrus, chocolatey fragrance. A little bit of rose and sandalwood. Like, it's a very vibrant, bright, and fresh fragrance. Really the freshest fragrance from Argos. This is the one I've been wearing the most. Like, you, you really can't go wrong here, but... I would encourage you to get a sample of this one if you like smoky fragrances. It's very creamy, though. You have to keep that in mind. There's leather. There's all these other things, musk and stuff, but it's very creamy, spicy, and smoky. Keep that in mind. Get a sample of it. Try it, and then thank me later when you're ordering your bottle with my 10% off code. So during the day, fall of Phaeton from Argos. Then I got the shower. I switched it up to something bright, fresh, and, and very, very clean and crisp, aquatic, metallic. It's Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct together. There's another one that was featured in my Fresh Out the Shower video. I like to wear stuff like this fresh out the shower. That's where the majority of this dent came from in this bottle. It smells very much like Invictus Aqua, hence the color combo with the original First Instinct and YSLY. Sharp grapefruit, metallic, aquatic, saltwater, ambergris, musky type of smell. Just smells good. I get four or five hours of longevity, roughly. And believe it or not, for about two hours of that, it's really strong projection. This will get you some compliments. I have gotten my share, not just from my wife when wearing this one casually. This is a phenomenal cheap summer fragrance. One of the better Abercrombie fragrances they've ever put out. The whole line's good. The First Instinct line, I love it. I wish they had more than just four releases. I actually did a full line review a couple of years ago. Um, Blue's great. Extreme's great. The original's great. And this is great. You can't go wrong. I wish they would have released the green one. Give me a green one and a red one, and then they could have wrapped the line. I think they could have went to six fragrances, it, at least a green version. They could have stopped at that. You know, maybe the red one be a little bit more fruity, orange, like typical red bottle stuff, but irrelevant. I get it. Just kind of the thought process I have. Like, there could, they could have did so much more with this line, in my opinion. I think it's the best line Abercrombie and Fitch ever did with their men's fragrances. It's, and this might be the best one. It's the one I have multiple bottles of. I also have multiple bottles of blue, but neither here nor there. It's just a phenomenal fragrance. Keep that in mind. They still pop up at the rack stores. Out the shower, first instinct together. Moving into Wednesday. So in honor of the live stream that I did with my friend Justin, make sure to go subscribe to Justin Copeland and check out our top seven Parfums de Marley fragrance live stream where we picked he justin picked out seven specific pdm fragrances for us to rank and i decided to wear Layton for said occasion i had not wore Layton in quite some time it is one of my seven favorites it definitely when he picked it out it was easy to rank that one this was my number two spoiler alert my number two favorite 
of the seven that we picked out. My number two overall, I really appreciate Layton. If you've never smelled it, it's a very unique fragrance. Everything that smells like Layton came after Layton, so keep that in mind. Menthol, geranium, crisp apple, spicy, rich cardamom, thick, dark, like almost burnt like vanilla, dense, deep woods, ambery, rich, a little smoked even. This is a gorgeous fragrance, great performer, compliment getter. Like I said, it's, it's so good. Yeah, there's a bunch of clones that smell great, but they don't have that extra little something that they didn't capture the magic of the original, in my opinion. I have several of the clones, and there's a few that I haven't tried, because when in doubt, I just go with the original when I, when I have... If you don't have the original, I totally get why you want to you know, rock the clones if you don't want to spend the money, but once you've tried the original... This is that jam. This is definitely that jam. And I know not everybody's going to feel that way, but that's how I feel. Just a phenomenal fragrance. I actually gave myself a break in the evening and didn't wear anything out the shower. So during the day, apart from DeMarley, Layton. Moving into Thursday, I think this is my favorite fragrance from Fragrance World. Because I keep going back to it. I would say like every 10, 12 days, I spray this one. It's F Le Parfum. Their YSL Y Le Parfum clone. It smells just, it's a dead ringer. The only differences I've come up with is a little bit spicier in the opening and it's a little bit creamier in the dry down. Performance is kind of wet and wet, pretty long lasting. Smells great, phenomenal. If you like YSLY, Le Parfum, said dead ringer. It just makes me happy. I, I don't even reach for my bottle of Y Le Parfum. I don't know if it's to preserve it, which is ridiculous. I don't need to preserve it. I've got like 1,500 fragrances. There's no reason to preserve anything most of this is going to outlive me anyway. I don't know. I just, it's just easier to reach for. Maybe it's because I have more of it or it's cheap. I don't know. It just smells great. And it's one that gets the stamp of approval for me for 20, 29 bucks. This is one of those rare occasions when I would say, just get this one. You don't need to get the YSL. Kind of like when it comes to off 9, 9 PM, that rare, that's another rare instance where I'm like, you know what? The clones, this isn't better with 9 PM. I think it's better than ultra male. The, the smooth, it's smoother and you swap out the apple for the pear. I think the trade-off makes it a better fragrance. Whereas here, it's literally just as good for like a third of the price, roughly. Less than half, almost a third of the price. And it's pretty much like the same juice in a different bottle. Just go with this one. That's, I mean, it's not often you'll hear me say that versus the original. I literally just finished telling you how Layton's the way to go over the clones. But here, just... Let's go with this. It's pretty much the same thing. I love it. Absolutely love it. This is another one gets my stamp of approval from me during the day. F Le Parfum from Fragrance World. I'm, I'm just a fan, guys. I really am. And I haven't wore this one in quite some time. Out the shower, I went with Davidoff Run Wild. Basically, the original is Aura Wanted in a Davidoff bottle. It's pretty much the same thing. It's got that Invictus Bubblegum Aquatic opening with some like ginger cinnamon spiciness. Pretty much this smells the same. Uh, you'll get a little bit of Night Vision EDT in the Spice Bomb line, but it smells more like the original Wanted, which is great. It's an above-average performer, like six to eight-hour range in longevity. Pretty loud for about an hour and a half, two hours. I gave myself like three sprays. Typically a stronger fragrance than what I normally wear out the shower, but I was just in the mood for it. Caught my eye. I said, why the hell not? That's pretty much where I'm at at this point without the shower fragrances. If it catches my eye, I think... Why the hell not? Regardless of what it is, if it's really powerful, I might only do one spray. I try to avoid the really powerful stuff late at night because I don't want to wake up the next day, you know, still pumping off of my skin because I don't want to go to the gym and because I go to the gym in the mornings and I don't want to relive an oud fragrance or something. You know what I mean? So I, I avoid stuff like that. But when it comes to the fresher stuff, why the hell not? That's what pops in my head. So out the shower, why the hell not? I went with Davidoff Run Wild. Now, moving into Friday, speaking of why the hell not, this one's a little stronger than I would typically want out the shower because I did do two more sprays when I got out the shower. I'm digging it. The new hype. Love it or hate it. It's Rasasi Hawass Ice. It is good, guys. I just don't think it's better than the original Hawass. Definitely check out my full review if you want further detail beyond what you're going to get here in the weekly rotation. But literally at the recording of this, the video came out today. The day this video goes live... It's yesterday's video, but this is good stuff. Now, the mint, that's going to be the main question. Is it really all that minty? No. 
You get a little bit of it, though. It adds some freshness to it. But I do get more of a Bubblegum Invictus Aqua 2018 kind of feel to it. Or, someone mentioned this in the comments, very much get some of this going on in here. Which is, you know, smells like Invictus Aqua. But a little bit sweeter. Because it is a little bit sweeter than Invictus Aqua 2018. Uh, you get some of this sugary, sweet bubblegum smell. But it's not super sweet. And I know the Tonka beans probably the main sweetness here with the plum and everything. And you do smell Hawass. It does smell like it's derived from Hawass's DNA without all the spiciness. You don't get the cinnamon and the cardamom and things like that. But it is a really good fragrance, guys. Is it worth what I paid for it? For me, sure. I, I wanted it right away. I saw the value. It's going anywhere from $65, $70 bucks to $80, $90. Bucks. You have to decide if it's worth it for your money. I'm happy to get it. I didn't hesitate. I pre-ordered it. If you want to continue to wait and wait to see if prices are going to drop depending on stock and all that good stuff that comes with it, that is your prerogative, sir or madam or whatever. Uh, but for me, I really enjoy it. I'm digging it. I'm happy to have it. I'll probably wear it again at some point next week because it is a really nice fragrance. My wife likes the way it smells. I'm enjoying it. It's super versatile because it performs pretty well for being as fresh as it is. And it's my kind of style. Invictus Aqua 2018 is still my favorite fragrance. And this has a pretty strong resemblance to it. So of course I really enjoy it, but it's good stuff all day long. Even again, out the shower, I gave myself two sprays of the new Rasasi Hawass Ice. And finally today on Saturday, what I'm currently wearing four sprays of, actually no, I'm wearing six sprays. I have, before I put the hoodie on, um, I had sprayed my forearm. So just the, the Undertaker's collaboration with Nine Line Apparel. Got the list of his names. I got the. I did the pre-order for the hoodie and the t-shirt. Shout out to Mark Calloway. So I have a Ming Mark Callis shirt too. I'm a wrestling fan. Of course I like cool shit like that. It's cool shit to me anyways. But I went with the new 19 Degree from Toomey. This is their best fragrance. For those of you that didn't see my live stream checking, I have them all lined up right here still. I have the rest of the house right here. The other six fragrances are all all lined up right there we get and some pretzel crackers <laughs> that i've been snacking on so we revisited the first two unwind and awaken and then all the other ones continuum is a banger because i know somebody's gonna mention continuum a bunch of you told me to try that one it was really good but this was far and wide the best fragrance from them and i had to put it in the rotation immediately it bumped some other fragrances that i wanted to wear today uh, a water, a birch water accord that dominates a smoky fresh water accord, a little herbal, dark tart and fruity, and a lot of it early on. Then it starts to settle into this like leathery suede feel, and that wateriness starts to fade. The fruit starts to calm down a bit, but doesn't quite go away. Man, is this good. I hope this gets more love beyond me this year. Because this is one of the best releases of the year. It's an X straight. It sticks to the skin. Uh, Siage is pretty good on it. Projection isn't crazy after about an hour and a half to two hours. So far, I mean, it's the first time I've, I've done a full wearing. I did a test spray the previous day. But this is a banger. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Their newest release. Like, there's some other really good stuff in the house. But this is the best fragrance they've put out. It's also their most expensive one. So, go figure. But... Worth getting a sample. Sample six bucks from uh, So Avant Guard. I'll have that with a that you know link to the website with a discount code if you guys are interested. It's not affiliated. It's just there for convenience. Uh, they made the code for me because they did send this to me and pff, they sent me several of them. Actually, all of them over the years. I've gotten all of them from them. But this is far and wide the one. If I was to buy one from Toomey. It's 19 degree because it is just that good. It's slightly unique, dark, tart, and fruity. That's the biggest thing for me. Watery, smoky, leathery, but dark, tart, and fruity. It works so well harmoniously. It's masculine. It's a little different. The quality's rich and, and smells of, you know, not quite luxury, but it doesn't smell like some cheap synthetic mid-level designer. I really, really dig that. So during the day, it's been amazing so far. This is Toomey's newest release called 19 degree and I thought about it and when I get out the shower I've been meaning to wear this Atimo Atimo however you say it from Ferragamo got it not that long ago very much wowed by this has a little bit of like code meets Lana Wheat de Lome and all these different things beautiful spicy fragrance 
with an Atomizer that's just too good. Look at that. Look at that. Such an underrated, great fragrance that, I, you know, I literally, if you look at the thumbnail for the video, it's like, how did I not know this was good? How did nobody tell me this was this good? I just kept passing it up at this TJ Maxx over here. I've saw it like four or five times before I finally said, ah, let me give it a shot. Was sleeping on this one. This is great. If you like spicy, dry, warm, and spicy fragrances, really seductive and ambery, great evening wear, dinner scent type of stuff, nice and cozy, this is, this is that jam. It's not crazy in performance. It's a more subtle, intimate type of, you know, sillage and projection. It's like a four or five hour fragrance with kind of intimate range sillage. I think it's perfect for that, though. Um, that's what I'm going to go with tonight. Out the shower. I'm going to go with Atimo, Atimo, however you say it. Poor Ohm from Salvatore Ferragamo. Well, that's this week's rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What you guys wear this week? Definitely comment down below and let me know what you guys have been wearing. I'm very curious. Did you happen to match anything that I wore this week? Doesn't even have to be on the same day. Just in the same week. I'm very curious what you guys wore. Definitely check out some of the other videos I referenced uh, if you want more details on some of these fragrances from other content I've covered throughout this week, whether it's live streams, individual reviews, or anything like that. Yeah, and uh, until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the ones I wore this past week and give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.